All right, good evening, folks. Today I've got another squad made by me this time again. And this time we're going to feature the Galarian version of the Articuno. So back in the day, Articuno was actually my favorite legendary, but um, now with the release of the Galarian forms, might as well showcase it uh, since it's uh, allowed on rank ladder uh, this season. And uh, what's cool with this one is we're going to give it weakness policy. Yes. Um, but pretty standard moveset of Shadow Ball, Air Slash, Freezing, Glare. Um, we did make our Articuno a little bit slow, not complete max speed, because we are going to run a Trick Room option on this team. And more often than not, we're going to activate the weakness policy with this. The Jelly! You may have remembered my Nihiligo from my Jelly Bacon video. But this is a different Nihiligo this time. So we tweaked him a little bit. And we made him more of a supportish Nihiligo. Because we're running Brutal Swing on this set. Because Brutal Swing hits everything on the field for dark damage. Including our Articuno which will activate the weakness policy. And if necessary we are running Trick Room on it. So this way we can uh, try and go first when we uh, activate it. To continue on with the rest of the team. We do have... This guy, I've been wanting to feature him for so long. We got the muscle bug. Arnold Schwarzenegger Boswell. Look at my mighty bosses. So we're running the assault vest on this Nihiligo. Uh, I, I'm sorry, Buzzwall. I think it's the perfect item to use on him. He's got really high HP, really high attack, really high defense. Uh, not the highest of special defenses, so we gave him the assault vest. And uh, we're running dual with me, high horsepower, leech life for stab, and close combat, another stab move. So we're not really going to lead or dynamax him very often. He's probably going to come in in the back. We'll probably more often than not lead the Articuno. But there are cases where we can lead Buzzwool, uh with this, the Whimsicott. Uh, so... You know that the Whimsicott runs Pranks with Tailwind, so we're going to get priority uh, speed. And this time we're using Switcheroo because we could run the, the cheese that we call it. And what is the cheese that we're running here? The Dusclops. So actually our Dusclops is a unique one on this team. We have Shadow Sneak with the Switcheroo. Uh, so we can get rid of early opponent Dynamaxes if we need to and if we can call it. But we can also pair the Dusclops with the Articuno. So we can Shadow Sneak our own Articuno, proc our own weakness policy. And he's another Trick Room sweater, uh, sweater, setter. He also can use will whips to cripple physical mods. And we have the Cancer button called Ally Switch. Um, but to close out the team, we have the Incineroar. Of, of course, we got Fake Out, Snarl, Support, Parting Shot. Reduce attacks and special attacks and our stab move of Flare Blitz. Um, I do want to say one thing with the Whimsicott here um, and the Buzzwool. So the, the thing with Buzzwool, the reason why he's not used so much, even though he's got great stats. Bug Fighting type. Four times weak to flying. And there's a lot of flying mons running around, so he hasn't seen any play. Um, but we're going to do our best to make him work. Alright, so that's enough of me. Uh, let's try and showcase the squad on some battles. Oh my goodness. It looks like a mix of series 6 and 5. Okay, why not? So, let's see. Alright, um, Intimidate sucks, but let's see if I can catch him. We're gonna go Articuno. And Nihiligo would be nice, because if he leads the Arcanine... Not, not, Nihiligo is actually pretty good against a lot of that squad, except maybe the Rodom. Okay. Um, who else do I want to bring in? Incineroar doesn't look that great here, except against the Scizor. Um, looks like you're coming. Big Muscles is coming. And... I guess I kind of have to bring it. You know, in a way. Yeah, let's just go with this.
Alright. We're gonna see how this goes. Alright. Mammal Swine Scizor. Um both very good against what I have. <laughs> um the advantage is that I am faster. Unless that is a speed mammal. Alright, well which one do I want to try and kill? I guess this one, because I could kind of take the steel attack. All right, here we go. D Max turn one. Oh, he's thinking about it. All right, let the Articuno shenanigans begin. All right, one of my favorite legendaries, the original one was. So it's nice to see this one uh, being featured. Alright, we're gonna Brutal Swing get... Oh, he's just gonna do it for me. Alright. Um, I guess. So this Brutal Swing is not gonna do anything, except maybe break a couple of things. Oh, wow, they really don't like my article. Yo, leave my Articuno alone! He didn't do anything yet! He didn't do anything yet! Oh my goodness. Alright, well at least we got rid of that. Jesus. Alright, the, the crit didn't matter. We, we, we were going to take him out anyway. Alright, so we have some speed control, which is nice. Dang bullet punch. Wow, they really didn't like my article. No, they wanted it gone. Just like, completely ignored my, um... Not illegal. Oh, there's the Arcanine. Hey, thanks for the competitive proc! Of all the things you could have brought... Alright. Doesn't matter, not illegal. I am a... A special attacker. Alright, so how do I want to do this? I think... We literally just go for it. What does he have in the back? Nothing that wants to take a Max Mindstorm. So that's exactly what we're going to go for. Oh, wait. Uh, uh. Alright, so I guess we can't quite go for it yet. Alright, we'll just go for this. Alright. Oh my goodness! Is he really doing it? Dynamaxing the Arcanine. Oh, it's a Scizor. Well, we have Incineroar for that. Okay. Max Guard. Very nice. Alright, well, let's see if we can kill the Arcanine with this. Probably not. Arcanine is kind of bulky. Alright. Bing! Alright. And... Oh! A snarl! Oh boy. Alright, I guess that was your only solution. Well, thanks for the re-raise! I mean... So what was the point of that? You just... You just made me plus five. I guess he didn't know that. Well, you know what comes next. We can just airstream and one-shot that. And then we can kill this and get a nice beast boost and be in complete command. Alright, the Arcanine protects. Good play on him. But I don't think his scissor survives this. So here it is. The max... No skill, but the airstream boost is very nice. And we are in complete command. So, 
There's that. I have a plus five Articuno. A plus five. Why he gave me plus five, you ask him. <laughs> Alright, what are you giving me? Gengar. Well, that's nice. So, we don't really have to think too much. I want to see the cool animation. Uh, and then we'll just do this. And get a beast boost! Oh, alright, he can just do that. So, we'll take the first win. Ooh, okay. Ice Horse and Turtle. So, Aleki, Grimmsnarl. Does that mean your Aleki is screens? It just might be. Well, no flying type, so that's good for Buzzwool. Alright, I am scared of fire. <laughs> uh, let's see, how do I want to do this? All right. Let's go Whimsicott Buzzwool, right? We got to bring Buzzwool. Right, this is a Buzzwool video. Um and then I guess Nyaligo is not too bad. But Actually, hold on. No. Here's what we do. We go Dusclops, Articuno first, Buzzwall in the back, alright, and Nihiligo. Let's go with this. We don't need Incineroar. Uh, we actually do kind of need an Incineroar for the Ice Horse, but we'll see if Buzzwall can match him in the late game. Assuming he brings him. That is a cool trainer card. This, this guy's gonna... He's gonna give it to me. But we'll see. Let's see what it leads. Is it the Aleki Grimmsnarl lead? Can I call this? It is the Dusclops Torkoal. Oh boy. This is gonna look weird. So here's the mirror matchup. Uh, unfortunately for him... Got my Torkoal. Uh-oh. Alright. And he knows I have weakness policy. Oh, boy. Here's the draw. Okay. So, here's my first question. Here's my first question. I can't mind Storm because you might swap, swap the Incineroar. The question is, like, who can I kill here? I can kill something, but I don't know what something is. Because, like, if I kill the Dust Cups, that Torko is going to murder me. But I kind of have to kill the Torko first. If he gets the Trick Room up, I'll just try and reverse it. It's going to suck. But I think that's the right play. And then we'll lower the Dust Cups defense stat for later, so... I think this might be my best play. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is it. Hopefully, we can get this kill. Let's try. Uh, this this might be the right play. He might even just taunt my my Dusclops, just so that I don't get Trick Room, and then he can Trick Room next turn. That could be a play. And I wouldn't be, and I wouldn't put it past him if he went for that. But we got the big bird, the big purple bird is on your screen. It is Dynamaxed. Here it is. The combo. Oh my goodness, he protected. Well, I, he probably figured it out. All right, this is still gonna do something, but yeah, I didn't go for airstream at least. Alright, now I can at least kill the Dusclops. 
Alright, so I'm not too worried about the Torkoal, and the Dusclops sets the Trick Room. So now we're in a speed tie with the Dusclops. Alright, so here's what we do. We kill the Clops. Uh, wait a minute, what did I just do? No, no, no. We... I, I, I saw Shadow Shadow Ball on the table. Wait a minute, that's Articuno's belly. Um, how do I want to play this? He's just going to eruption either way. So we, we, we have to flip the Trick Room. And then, we just kill the Clops. If he ally switches, good on him. We He ally switches into a dead Torkoal. So, I feel like this is my best play. I don't know if I'll get it off. Can I win the speed tie? Nope. Eruption. That hurt a lot. Alright. Just murdering my Articuno. Already at half health. He didn't even Dynamax yet. Okay. And now... Let's see. Can we flip the Trick Room successfully? And the answer is yes. Alright, so well, that's kind of good. That's kind of good. Except I used two turns of my max. He didn't even use one yet. So, we'll see what happens. I am boosted with a weakness policy. It's Glacier. Oh, oh my goodness. He's gonna Dynamax that. Alright, well, we already know what I'm going for. Like, there is no question about it. Uh, I would like to get the Torkoal off the field first. So, here's what I do. And I'll lower the defense at the same time. So let's just do this. Alright, Torkoal, you protect, you protect! <coughs> we already know he's gonna Dynamax his horse, and he's gonna murder my Articuno. But we're gonna take his Torkoal down with us. He's thinking about it. Alright, but not much to think about when you have an Ice Horse. You just click your Dynamax button and win the game. As they all do. But maybe we have a chance. But Max Hillstorm will kill me, and he'll get a chilling nade boost, which is gonna suck. So Incineroar might have been good, but we really need to hit this Will O Wisp to have a chance. So first we'll kill the Torkoal. Very nice. We'll lower his defense. Alright, to set up the Buzzwool. Alright, here it is, Max Hailstorm. I'm not surviving this. Yep, and he gets Chilling Nay. But I need to hit this Willow. I have a chance if I can hit the Willow. Come on! Very important! Hit the Willow! Yes! Alright. We got the Willow off. Alright. Very important. So that that helps a lot. Alright, but my dust clocks is getting a bit low. Alright, so we have to bring out the Nihili the Buzzwall now. Um this doesn't really help me. Alright, we're gonna do it now. We're gonna do it now. Buzz Wool. Except Trick Room is up, so he actually goes. Wait, is it up? Oh my god, the Intimidate. Why? Of course. Oh, we were doing so well, and then I made that play. Alright, well. Oh, that's right. No, no, no. There was no Trick Room. We flipped it. Ah! Very unfortunate. He brought Incineroar. 
Should have brought Nihiligo up. Maybe we would have had a chance. It would have been great. It would have been great. But. Alright, now how, how do I want to play this? I guess what I can do. I could just ally switch. And then just high horsepower that? That looks kind of weird. I don't want to proc his policy yet. Oh, this looks so bad. We're gonna do it anyway. Oh. Yep. Okay. That makes sense. Alright. Let's see. How do you... How do you do this? Alright, Max Hailstorm again. Into my Buzz Ball. Well, alright, we do take that. We do take that. The important thing is he has... He has no weakness policy proc yet. I do have this, though. I do have this. This could do some damage. I do need to get some damage on the Glacier. This, the, um, see, Nightshade would have been great here. But I have Shadow Sneak for my shenanigans. Can't burn the Incineroar. So, this is all I can really do. Is just, oh, I'm gonna do it again, actually. Should I do it again? Does he think I won't do it again? Yo, I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. I'm gonna do it again. Alright, here it is. I clicked the cancer switch for the second time. Alright, leech life. Boom! That did some damage. Alright, we got some health back. Flare Blitz. Okay. Alright, into my Dusclops. Alright, take that. Alright, Max Hailstorm. Oh, he's gonna get a Chilling Nay. That's bad. But, not terrible. Alright, so his Dynamax is over. Alright, we have a chance. We have a Burned Glacier. And we have a Nihiligo, but we have to go for the bacon now. Alright. This is my best shot. This is my best shot. As long as I can kill the Glacier, we got a shot. He might protect, though. Hold on, let me let me check him. He has a plus two, right? Alright, but that's technically a one because we did drain him. I think we get rid of him first. Um and then just keep like recovering. Keep recovering from the glit. Yeah, I think this is the best play. See, the thing is, I don't want the Incinero to proc his berry, so I might just even kill him first. Alright. I'm gonna try. Alright. Power gem! Alright. Show me the berry. Alright. There's the berry. Alright. And leech life! Can I kill? At minus one. Alright. That did some more damage. And here comes the Flare Blitz into my bug. Oh boy. We tried. Oh, he crit me. Ah, oh, he crit me. Oh, but he gets recoil damage. Alright, so then what do you do? High horsepower. Oh, that we lose. Well. 
You know, the hail will kill me. I tried my best, but what could I do? What could I have done? Should I have went for the Ice Horse there at the end? Maybe. But, yeah. We'll try again next battle. Okay, now this person is running some shenanigans. Because I'm also called Annabelle. Except, that Annabelle spelled differently. So it's a matchup of Annabelles. Dragapult Togekiss is my main concern. I think we lead with this. We can counter it with this. We need Airstream though. So, it's gonna be tough. We're not faster. Like, we died the Max Ghost, I think. And if you follow me's, it's done. Like, how am I supposed to stop that? Alright, we'll see. Let's go Buzzwell in the back. And... Yeah, I guess Incineroar for the late game. Let's go for it. The matchup of the Annabelles. I... There is absolutely no reason why he doesn't go Togekiss Dragapult here. Like, that is like a clear-cut lead. And we played the mind games. Like, zero reason why he doesn't just lead it. Yeah, there it is. Oh, Alright. How do I stop it? Maybe I Dynamax and Nihiligo instead. And forget the Articuno. No, but then the, the, the Dragapult just smashes the Nihiligo. Because we have, like, no base defense. So how, how do I do this? This is not what I envisioned. Alright. We're gonna do... We're gonna kill that. And... We're gonna hope to God... That the Dragapult goes for the Nihiligo. And if he goes for Articuno, he'll proc our weakness policy and then we'll kill it. Maybe. I feel like that might be my best shot. Or, we could have just maxed the Nihiligo, killed the Togekiss, and then most likely Dragapult kills our Articuno. Oh yeah. That probably would have been better, because then, then the Nihiligo gets the Beast Boost. And then it's a max Nile Legal with a plus one versus a draft. But then he might go for the Nile Legal. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see. Oh, he didn't follow me. What? He didn't follow me. Is he insane? He didn't even Dynamax. Oh my goodness. He's given us the game. Oh my god. Alright. He went for that play. He went for that play. Why? It's not a bad play, but he went for it. Oh. Oh boy. I guess that's why he didn't follow me. Blaziken. Alright, well... He'll probably protect it. He probably wants my Nihiligo gone. Should I Trick Room? I think I should. Yeah, because I got Buzzwell in the back. Let's go for that. And then for this Blaziken, we're just going to max Mindstorm it. Alright. Oh, he went for the Articuno. Well, thanks for that. Alright. Goodbye, Blaziken. Alright. So we'll get that easy kill. I can't imagine him not following me there. I was I was spewing all kinds of nonsense and then he didn't even go for it. 
Alright, so we're in a nice spot. Alright, again, this is for the Boswell endgame if we if we need it or get to it. He still hasn't Dynamax yet. He's he might Dynamax that. Am I scared of that? Oh wow. I think he's faster than me now. Oh boy. Alright, here's what we do. We switch to Insin. Alright, and... Do we kill the Dragapult or the Haxorus? Um... Okay, I say... We kill this. Let's see if this is the right call. He didn't max. Does he know he can? Uh, well, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Okay. Probably you max now, right? Let's just go for this. What else am I supposed to do? No! He didn't want to do it! I live! He didn't want to do it! Okay. Don't do it. Alright, here comes Buzzwool. I can't understand that. Alright, this probably should kill. Oh, look at that animation. Oh my goodness. Well... What do you expect? Alright, we beat the worst Annabelle. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There's our Articuno Buzzwell squad. I really felt like in game two, we, we probably should have won that at the end. I think I threw. Um, do you think I should have went for the Ice Horse instead of the Incineroar? Uh, it's tough to say. Maybe I should have. Um, the Incineroar, opposing Incineroar, did get the lucky crit on the Buzzwell. But, you know, I'm still really thinking about that. I, I burned the ice horse. Uh, I felt like I had a good shot uh, to close it out at the end. Um, but, yeah, at least we got to showcase the the other side of the squad with the Articuno. Uh, so, Nihiligo with it. Uh, Proct his weakness policy a couple times. So, that was nice to see. And uh, he just swept. All right. So, that's the squad. If you want to give it a go, there's the rental code. Um, and... Within the next couple days, I'll be showcasing more of my own team, so stay tuned.